We're now in a live VAT environment. The first 100 days, the, initially there may have been some technology gremlins. There were some difficulties for some organisations getting their invoices out. And some of those issues actually remain today. There are many who still can't issue valid tax invoices. So for those that were prepared, those that weren't prepared had a big impact because it stopped them from being able to have the information to allow them to recover their VAT. But having gone live with VAT, having raised the invoices and managed their, their accounting, the next stage then was the VAT reporting. So again, for many organisations, their first VAT returns will already have been submitted. And that then got them to the second leg of what they do next. So having to, to get the VAT information out of the system to allow them to report that and provide that to the FTA. And the FTA have already started looking at that information and made some inquiries. So for some, this is a good experience and for others, they've really struggled. Every single transaction will have a VAT impact. So reflecting in the first 100 days is a very valuable exercise because it allows you then to decide what happens next. So VAT compliance, actually completing and submitting VAT returns, actually ensuring that you're able to issue valid tax invoices and that your contracts comply with VAT is absolutely essential. The price of non-compliance is incredibly high, but worse than that, there are the commercial ramifications. So if you do not comply with VAT, then you can end up falling out with your customers, with your suppliers, and therefore it has a much bigger impact on your business. VAT as a transaction tax is every single transaction. So any time there is a change in your organisation, any time you are doing an acquisition, a restructure, you're looking to sell something, there will be a VAT consequence, even something as simple as an internal reorganisation. So to understand that and to plan for it is an effective way of planning your VAT for the future.